We gather to worship as the family of God. As sisters and brothers in Christ, we come to God who welcomes us here. I look forward to celebrating communion with you this morning. I invite you to gather what you will need as we prepare to break bread together. Bread or crackers and juice or water. World Communion Sunday is celebrated the first Sunday in October. This day calls the church to be the universal inclusive church. We remember that God has gathered us from the ends of the earth around Christ's holy table. Worship will feature music as well as a story from other nations. Shirley Thompson, president of the Canoga Park First United Methodist Women, invited me to share this happy news. Our unit selected Marcella Rodriguez to receive the 2020 Quiet Disciple Award. Marcella, a single mother of four boys, holds a full-time job and serves as our church treasurer. She has also served as our financial secretary, a member of administrative committee, and head usher. Marcella became a member of First United Methodist Church at Canoga Park in 2009. She joined the United Methodist Women in 2013 and is a member of Faith, Hope, and Love Circle. Marcella generously gives her time and talent to serve God. Congratulations, Marcella. Well done, good and faithful servant. Until we gather next Sunday, stay at home when you can and watch out for one another. gathers us together. We are singing for the Lord is our light. Let us sing together. We are singing. us to this time and space. 
we lift our hearts in thanksgiving and joyful praise for the gift of your love. God of life, you have invited us here to place all that we have and all that we are in you. Through the power of your Holy Spirit, guide us to not only lift up our hearts in worship, but to offer our hearts in love. Amen. Our scripture reading today comes from 2 Corinthians. Hear now the inspired word of God. Everyone should give whatever they have decided in their hearts. They shouldn't give with hesitation or because of pressure. God loves a cheerful giver. This is the word of the Lord given to you. Thanks be to God. Let us sing together, Jesus Loves Me. watching her people pray and dance, holding her doll in her arms. The doll was made of buffalo skin. The eyes, nose, and mouth were painted with berry juice. The doll's dress was dyed a beautiful color, and it was beaded. The girl's mother used her own hair to make long, beautiful braids for the doll. And in the doll's hair were bright blue feathers from a blue jay. The little girl loved her doll very much. She who is alone said to her doll, The shaman has gone alone to the top of the hill to talk with the great spirit. Soon we will know what to do so that the rain will come again and the earth will be green, the buffalo will be plentiful, and the people will be saved. The shaman is coming, the runner cried as he ran through the camp. People gathered in a circle, and the shaman spoke. I have heard the words of the Great Spirit, he said. 
The people have become selfish. For years they have taken from the earth whatever they wanted and needed without giving anything back. The Great Spirit says the people must sacrifice. We must make a burnt offering of the most treasured possession among us. The ashes of this offering shall then be scattered to the four winds. When this has been done, the rains will come and the earth will live again. The people sang a song of thanksgiving to the Great Spirit for telling them what they must do. Everyone went to their teepees to talk and think over what the Great Spirit had said. I'm sure that the Great Spirit does not want my new bow, a man said. I am sure that the Great Spirit does not want my special blanket, a woman said. And so it continued. Everyone had a reason not to give the Great Spirit their greatest treasure. Everyone that is except she who is alone. She held her doll tightly in her arms and whispered, you are my most treasured possession that is you the great spirit wants that night as she held the doll in her arms she could not sleep she thought of all the people who would die if rain did not come and she knew what she must do the night outside was still except for the distant sound of the bird with red wings. Soon, everyone in the teepee was asleep, except she who is alone. She got up and crept out into the night. She was carrying her doll in one hand and a lighted stick from the campfire in the other. She went to the place on the hill where the great spirit had spoken to the shaman. Stars fill the sky, but there is no moon. O oh, great spirit, she who is alone said, here is my doll. It is the only thing I have to give. It is my most treasured possession, a gift from my mother and father. Please take her and send rain to my people. Thank you, great spirit. Then, gathering up twigs, she started a fire. She watched as the twigs began to catch and burn. She thought of her grandmother and grandfather, her mother and father, and all the people, their suffering, their hunger. Then she hugged and kissed her doll, and before she could change her mind, she threw her into the fire. She watched until the flames died down and the ashes were cold. Then she, who is alone, scooped up the ashes and scattered them to the winds, to the north and east, the south and west. And there on the hill, she fell asleep until the first light of the morning woke her. When she got up, she looked over the hill. She saw flowers. Everywhere the ashes had fallen, the ground was covered with bright blue flowers, flowers the color of the blue jay feathers in her doll's hair. When the people came out of their teepees, they could hardly believe their eyes. They gathered on the hill with she who is alone to look at the carpet of blue that was spreading over the hills and valleys. The people saw them and knew that they were a sign of forgiveness from the Great Spirit. And as the people sang and danced in gratitude to the Great Spirit, 
a warm rain began to fall. From that day on, the little girl was known by another name, one who dearly loves her people. And every spring, the Great Spirit remembers the sacrifice of a little girl and covers the hills and valleys of the land we call Texas with beautiful blue flowers, now called blue bonnets, even to this day. As we come together today through all the turmoil and fear, let us give graciously and abundantly to our church and our surrounding community. Let us join together in our prayer of confession. Gracious God, you know how we confuse our roles, miss your invitations, and ignore your banquet of grace and abundant love. Clear the clouds from our eyes that we may clearly see your call to partner and to serve with you. Nourish us with your forgiveness and your mercy, that we may rejoice fully 
in this time of worship. In your love and grace we pray. Amen. As we come to this time of communion, hear these words of invitation. Come as you are. All are welcome to the banquet of life. There's always room for one more. Let us pray and give thanks. Father, our great spirit, from the depths of our hearts, we give you thanks. We say thank you now and forever from the place of the rising sun in the east to the south where the warm winds blow, from the west where the soft rain comes to the coldness of the north. We unite with all creation from the four directions to join in everlasting thanksgiving and praise for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. You have called us to honor the presence of your Son in this feast of sacred food and drink. We are honored also by your invitation, and we wish to bring the gift of ourselves to you in joy. Blessed are you, Lord, in heaven and earth. In mercy for our fallen world, you gave your only Son, that all those who believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. We give you thanks for the salvation you have prepared for us. Send your spirit upon these gifts. Gather into one all who share this meal. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through whom all glory and honor are yours. Almighty Creator, with the Holy Spirit and your Holy Church, both now and forever. Amen. We remember Jesus' words as he took bread and took the cup. He broke the bread and he said, take, eat. This is my body broken for you. And he took the cup and said, drink. This is my blood poured out for you and for many. Do this in remembrance of me. The table is ready. Let us eat and remember. The body and blood of the Lord given for you and for many. Thanks be to God. Let us join together in giving thanks. O oh God, we join with our sisters and brothers around the world, remembering Christ's sacrifice for us, for the opportunity to eat and drink together, and for the life we have received. We give you thanks and praise. Amen. 
Let us sing together. We are singing. Amen. Mm -hmm. 